Hi everyone, welcome to this video. If you are using Joho Mail as your business email server, you can access your mail account using the browser or smartphones, Android or iOS. In fact, Joho provides a desktop application which can be installed on your device and you can access your mail accounts. It works exactly as Outlook, uh, you know, desktop application. However, some of us prefer to use Outlook as an email client. Why? Because we first introduced to computers, MS Office applications are the first desktop applications we all use. So we feel comfortable, we feel familiar when we use uh, this application. Not just that, when you use Outlook, all your emails get downloaded into desktop. So you will have access to those emails even there is no internet connection available. So, so let's see how you can configure Joho Mail in Outlook uh as a you know imap or pop account so let's jump into this video all right let's open the outlook choose manual setup here and click choose pop or imap click on next fill in the user information name and email address and coming to the server information you have to choose the account type pop or imap for those who are not aware, if you configure the using pop method, so once the email is retrieved from the Joho mail server, uh, it's no longer available in the Joho mail. Or it one, it will only be accessible in the uh, email client, which is Outlook here. But whereas if you configure using IMAP method, so once email is retrieved uh, from the Joho mail server, a copy will be available in Outlook and also it will be available in Joho Mail and other uh, email clients as well. So choose the account type as per your requirement. Update incoming email server as imappro.joho.com and outgoing server as smtppro.joho.com. But you not to remember, you can easily uh, find them in the your Joho Mail. So open Joho Mail, go to settings. And here choose mail accounts. So click on the IMAP or pop as per your requirement. So here you will find the uh, server details. Just copy them and paste it in the Outlook. And coming to the password, the regular Joho mail login password doesn't work in case the multi-factor authentication is set up. So in that case, app specific password should be used. So how to set up that? Let's see. Open the Joho mail account. Click on my, my account. As you can see, uh, for this account, uh, the multi-factor authentication is enabled which can be visible here so now let's go to security app passwords so click on generate new password uh, give a name as per your choice i'm giving outlook and click on generate yeah use this password copy and paste this password in the outlook to configure Click on more settings and click on outgoing server and enable this checkbox and click this radio button use same settings as incoming server and click on advanced now update the incoming server port as 993 and choose SSL here. and outgoing server as 465 SSL all right uh, with this we are done so let's save these settings and click on next check the status here both are completed Alright, uh, click on close. 
So with this, we are successfully done configuring Joho Mail with an Outlook. So you can access your Joho Mail uh, sorry, account within the Outlook. And as you can see, and in case if you want to configure any additional mail accounts in Outlook, click on File and choose Add Account here. From here, follow the same processor uh, which we followed uh, earlier to configure other accounts as well. All right, uh, in case you fail to configure Outlook, uh, please make sure you're avoiding these most common mistakes. Number one, uh, ensure the IMAP access is enabled. Go to mail account, click on IMAP. As you can see, the IMAP access checkbox should be enabled. If in case this checkbox is disabled, make sure you enable it. So mistake number two, in case your Joho mail account is configured with two-factor or multi-factor authentication, the regular your email account password doesn't work when you're configuring Outlook. So uh, make sure you're using app specific password for that. So go to my account, then security app password. So generate a, a new password for an Outlook application. So mistake number three. So ensure the incoming outgoing server extensions are proper because so for the people who are hosted with indian data center their extensions will be dot in and for eu data center it will be joho.eu so make sure the proper in incoming and outgoing server uh, with a right extension is updated in your outlook so if you still face any issues uh, configuring uh, outlook or any of the issues with around joho feel free to reach us we are authorized joho partner and reseller uh, we will be glad to assist you thank you very much for watching this video